Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. This package is for my buddy Justin over at Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews. I'm very happy he sent this my way. We'll unbox it with the knife from Jared Neve of Neve's Knives. Let's check this out. This is the Kubi 322. And uh, it's got a good edge on it, of course, coming from Jared Neve. So it better, right? Now, I don't want to show you guys my address, so I'm just kind of being careful here. Ah, we got a little box in a box situation. Cool beans. Anything on that side? Nope. All right, let's just cut in here. And cut in here. Try not to cut my boy's pouch or whatever. And out she comes. So. He told me he was sending me a couple of cool knives I've been meaning to check out. Any stickers or anything in here I should be aware of? Nope. He usually sends swag, but uh, he must be low. So we got this really cool pouch. Damn, that's a really nice pouch. Um, so first up, these are uh, A Purvis knives. So he sent me, he said the Primordial MK2 and MK3. I will say I have handled the MK2 at Blade Show. Uh, Fanatic Edge had some modded ones. And I love this design, guys. It's always been one of those designs that's like, man, it's one of the sexiest knives to me ever. But it has sort of a fatal flaw for a lefty. So that's why I've never owned any or showed any on the channel. But he had both the 2 and the 3. And I figured I, I really wanted to buy an MK3 even though it won't work for me. That's how good looking it is. <laughs> um, and I guess maybe there's something else in here. So let's see what this is first. Oh, okay. So this is a... Damn, this pouch is nice. It's like corduroy and shit. So this is what I do to keep track of pouches. In case anybody else has a channel and uh, you have trouble keeping track of loners, I always take the person's name, put it on a little scrap paper, and then I shove it in the pouch, and then I put the pouch in my loaner's box. And that way I can keep track. Um, this is that new uh, Tucson. I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, but it's designed by Tig Tigusa or Tig USA or Tigus. It's like T I G U S S A or something. He designed it. I've seen this a few times on the interwebs. I uh, got a decent clip there. It looks like it's got a little bit of like pokiness to it. Does it suck going in? Yep, it absolutely blows going in pocket. That is way too tight. Jeez. And it's kind of pokey right there. See that? Just the initial thing here. Relief cuts are on the outside there. That's okay. We are dead nuts. Eh. It's pretty damn close to dead nuts. It is. It's dead nuts. You got a carbon fiber inlay. It's kind of like that 3K, 3D carbon fiber. Um, you got some cool mill work. Again, this is a Tucson. You can tell probably by the pivot. They do that kind of triangle thing. Um, it is a flipper. It's got a hole in the flipper, which is pretty cool. And jimping. No detent lash. And let's feel the detent. Okay. Okay. Solid detent. Uh, right away, let's try the detent again. Yeah, the detent's good. Yeah, it's really good. Um, okay, that's better. I was gonna say, lock bar access felt kind of shitty at first there. See that little chamfer right there? Um, yep, it's fine. I pushed it from down here, and that's why it was weird. So if you get it in the right spot, it's fine. It's a little bit tight, I guess, but, uh, it's almost like one of those where you gotta get your nail in there, you know? You don't have any blades showing, which is awesome from the back. You're not going to hurt yourself. Cool backspacer. Giant lanyard hole. Oh, for y'all fools. Don't worry, just landed on my lap. Um, you got this awesome satin blade. It is in D2. Whoa. Let's zoom in at it. This is our first impressions as well. Of course, I hit the damn focus button. Hang on. God, I hate that so much. Sorry. Um, TS-212. I didn't realize this was an older one. D2. And um, the problem 
with this is it's D2 and Satin. Um, yeah, and it looks like we got B Blast in that fuller. This is a dangerous knife to be in my possession because I may or may not rust it. So, Justin, just a heads up. I'll try to take care of it, though. Fantastic edge on there. Uh, really cool. I mean, look at that. Awesome milling. Again, that lanyard hole. There's that clip. Yeah, that clip's a, kind of an issue, guys. I couldn't even get it in the pocket. Um, and there's the logo. Again, I'm pretty sure it's that Tigus. Uh, tig I don't know how to say it, but um, if I can find him on Instagram, I'll link it below. Nice spine there. This fuller is not flickable, is it? Ooh, we're going to find out. So let's zoom out. Left-handed? Ooh, hello. Let's try that again. Yeah, pretty easy left-handed. Right-handed? Probably super easy. Yeah! All right, I see. I see you, Tigga. Sorry, I don't know your name, so I'm just making shit up. But yeah, I mean, it works left-handed, even on the frame lock there a little bit. So the detent is good. It's not, like, too strong. It's, it's like... It's probably a medium detent, which is fine. And then it, uh oh, it works for the flick. You got to get a little lower as a lefty, but right handed, you can just flick it. Um, is there a thumb flick? No. Uh, you probably could figure it out, you could walk it out or something. But anyway, that's a cool knife. That's the Tucson TS212. Cool. Interesting knife. All right, next up, we got the two primordials. So I'm going to try to figure out which one. Oh, the blade's open. Holy shit. Almost took my finger off. Look at that. Jesus. They have a light detent, by the way. <laughs> and I knew that. And that was a confirmation right there. Tier one. Damn, that was scary. Dude. I stuck my finger right in there and it just kind of sliced a piece. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the uh, new one because the pivot, because the holes. Oh, yeah, the holes. That gives it away. Okay, I was going to say, and the no flipper. Okay, so let's put this one aside. This is the MK2. I'll put this one in my knife case so I can get that in the rotation for review. So you have this marbled carbon fiber. Let's do a close-up. Marbled carbon fiber looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's dope. You got the titanium. You got that kind of six-gun pivot with the uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't. There is nothing else. Just the six-gun pivot. Um, there's the um, pivot area. There's your flipper tab with a little bit of jumping. Ooh, D10 is nice on that. Um, there is your clip. It's got a little. It was got some give to it. It's a little pokey there, but let's try this one. Yep, that one's awesome. Got a little bit sticking out, you know, but it works. Um, there is your lock bar, which is why it doesn't work for lefties, and I'll get into that. And there's the backspacer. So that is the MK2 Primordial. And the reason it doesn't work for lefties, right here. The It's a cool bolster lock design, but it's like a halfway bolster, right? And it doesn't go high enough. If he just r brought this bolster up to here like most bolsters, it would work awesome left-handed. Now, I haven't even tried it yet, so I could be wrong, but yeah, so I can't open it. And because it's a flipper design, it's going to be even harder left-handed uh, because the detent has to be stronger for a flipper, right? And then for the hole, right-handed, this is probably going to be awesome. Yeah, it's honestly... Yeah, it might even be semi-stiff for a right-handed flick because of uh, the detent has to be strong for the slipper tab. And it really is dialed for that. Um, I believe the new ones are made by Best Tech. These maybe were made by Wii or something because this detent is a little too good to be Best Tech. If it is, I'm sorry. So I can get down here on this clip. Let me give it a shot. Oh, man. Let me get down here. Come on, baby. Yeah. So it can be done. If you love this design that much, you can do it left-handed, but it's going to be a bitch. Um, 
I do love this design. It's one of the sexiest looking knives in my opinion. Um, let's feel the ergo. Yeah, the ergos are really good as well. For me anyway, large glove size hand, just one grip feels really good. You can choke up onto this kind of flipper choil, but you're right up on that edge. So I would be careful. Um, yeah, I like it. I love the buoy clip point. I mean, that's what really drew me in. Um, good action on this. Totally a cool knife. That's the MK2 Primordial. And this is the new version. Now, this comes in satin versions or stonewashed versions. Uh, he got the blacked out one. Justin over at Tier 1 is a murdered out chal kind of guy. Look at that carbon fiber. That looks absolutely stunning on this piece. Um, normally, I'm not into this kind of carbon fiber, but they did a great job with that. You can see here it's got uh, dark wash or PVD coated uh, scales. I can tell you right now, this one... It felt noticeably lighter. Now it's like, eh, it's definitely lighter though. I love this pivot, A purpose, AP, that looks cool. You have the same hole design and everything. You just don't have the flipper tab. So you have the same clip. Yep, I think it rides a little bit better because there's only one screw. So it rides a little bit deeper. Um, it's not reversible, obviously. The only thing with a one clip screw is, no, not much wiggle. So it must be slotted in pretty well. Uh, there is your bolster. Again, it only goes halfway up. So lefties, damn it. Uh, we shall see if the D10 is light enough, it may just work. Um, no flipper tab to mess with. So don't really have many other options. Let's just go for it. Well, let's feel the D10. Yep, feels very... A little stronger than like a Vero though. Um, Right-handed. Oh yeah. Get this schmutz out of here. Hmm. Trying to figure out the best way to flick it. <laughs> Can't. Okay. That comes out pretty damn good. Let's try it left-handed. Pretend there's no issues. Damn it. Yep, even with that light detent, I have to climb all the way down there, and that is not satisfying at all. You hear that? Barely even comes out. You know, just a little weakish, a little weakish. Uh, the acoustics, I am an acoustics guy, right? So I really like when a knife makes a nice sort of thundering clap when it comes out or something. You hear that, right? Here's the uh, Roosevelt. Just has some good sound to it, right? This guy. Has like no acoustic at all. Part of that is. I don't know what it is about Best Tech. They somehow like dull down their acoustics. Um, there's no play. So it's definitely solid the way it is. Um, and again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't best tech. It's just my best guess and assumption. Um, I do like it, though. I also think maybe the um, the holes all over the place, the open construction probably has something to do with the sounds not being very good uh, because there's just a lot of open area for sound to escape. Uh, it's got a good edge on it. It is a um, saber grind or flat grind. It does have a recurve, it looks like, um, which is interesting. Does the MK2 have a recurve? No, I didn't think so. So this is more of a clip point bowie or whatever. It has a straight and then up into some belly. This guy actually has a little recurve in it. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it, right? Um, so that's interesting. Should we cut? We didn't cut with the other one. Let's cut with all three, and then we can call it a day. So this is the MK3. Uh, I believe this is in M390 steel. M390. So it cuts really well. I suck at cutting. We all know this. Let's 
Feels pretty sharp too. Again, seems like it's me, cuts pretty well. And the TS-212, yeah. I had no doubt that the Tucson would somehow cut much better, even though apparently I can't cut, but this knife can, like a goddamn boss. This one's the best cutter out of all of them. Whether it's the geometry and how it works with my hand or what, I'm starting to think that a lot of knives come from factory with a shitty edge on them. And it, that's what it is. It's not me. It's like inconsistent edge sharpening. And I'm actually showing you the problem. But we can always blame me as well. It doesn't matter. You have great action on all three of these knives. Um, excellent quality from, I think, Best Tech, Tucson, and possibly Wii on this one. If I'm feeling it right, could be we. Um, could even be best tech. Just that detent throws me off. This one has good acoustics. So I think it's just the open construction of this. You know? Great action on this. So that's the thing with best tech. It's kind of like CKF, guys. You lose a little in detent because they want to have the knife be droppy. Right, whereas some companies will uh, prioritize a strong snappy detent over drop shut and just give you a smooth shake close. Right, that's kind of why I think this is a wee. Kind of gives gives me that feeling. Um, and then Tucson's kind of in the middle. They they pretty much nail the detent every time, and they have super smooth action. Not quite drop shutty, but very very smooth. So I guess more like wee. Right, and again I'm guessing so. Anyway, those are the three knives from Tier 1, Gear and EDC Review. Big thank you to him for letting me check these out. I will be doing a full review on probably all three. Um, I may do these together because they're so similar or whatever. Um, this one you can get right now, I think, on their website, or at least he's dropping them still or whatever. This one, I'm not sure if you can get, so I may just skip this one, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do a rapid review with them or whatever, but um, Primordial from A, Purvis Knives, MK2, MK3, and Tucson, TS212 from Tigus, Tigus, again, sorry. Um, and that's it. Thank you to Justin. Really appreciate it, dude. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.